Yo guys, Crescent here. Welcome to another build video. Today I'll be updating my Soul Jabber build for Magicka Templar. Um, for this patch, to be honest, I really don't think there's like a best setup for Magicka Templar. It's really situational because some days you'll be getting a lot of procs on you. You're just having a bad day on a Templar. Everybody is aiming you, and you need to go like a really defensive build. Or some days you feel like. You, you'll be helping your friends a lot of healing, you'll be doing a lot of healing and you need a lot of sustain so another build might be better than this build and another day you might be doing ham, you might be going ham on Cyrodiil killing everybody on your Templar and those days I'll be using the offensive build so basically there are three kind of builds um, the offensive one, the more sustainable one and the basically the cancer, cancer Templar build uh, which is basically my Templar build video, I'll, sh I'll put it in the link be below, you can watch that build video but I'll go through that build really quickly in this video as well so basically there are three different kinds of build for three different types of situation uh, you find yourself in in Serial Deal so okay, um, guess we just go straight into the sets because that's what you are here for and I'll go through the first set first the most offensive set I use um, this set, I use it in solo environment or in a really small scale environment with one or two friends because I don't want to be the healer, this is not the healing build the only heal you have is breath of light so you could spam this a little bit for heal your partner but usually you want to go, you want to be on the offensive side okay so what I'm using, 2 score rare. Um, if you find yourself needing to be a bit more defensive you could definitely use the pirate skeleton as well so I'll be using um, Light hit, heavy armor, and I'll be using five piece shackle breaker. Uh, I use five piece of a uh, tri stat glyph uh, on my shackle breaker because sometimes I might PVE with Scoria, so I'll, I'll just leave it on a uh, Magicka. But it's really up to you to change it around. Just make sure every single piece is impenetrable. I put one piece sturdy, you could do it as well, but I don't think it's that good to be honest because you'll be putting a lot of points into um, the CP tree. So I would prefer for you to go full impenetrable airy pieces, okay? And if you want to maximize your build to the most optimal, uh, basically best in slot, you want to use a light arm, light belt, medium, uh, medium or light uh, gauntlet, and then you use two piece, um, two piece heavy on the head and shoulder. It's really up to you, but uh, just make sure you go five one one or five two zero. Uh, so you get two light pieces or one light, one medium. Really up to you. Okay, and the damage set we'll be using is War Maiden. Basically, why we are using War Maiden is because a lot, a lot of your skills uh, as a Magical Templar are magical damage. So um, besides Vampire's Bane or maybe your your ulti if you're using Destro, if you're using um not Destro, sorry, if you're using Dawnbreaker because sometimes I feel Dawnbreaker is really good as well. I'll go into the skills later. Basically, almost all of your skills are magical damage. That's why I feel War Maiden is extremely good. And there's a, there's more important. There's a more important thing why I drop, um, the Soul Shine, Soul Shine build, Soul Shine set, for War Maiden is because, if you look at your passive as a magical Templar, for your um Adric Adric Spear skill line, there's this passive called Burning Light. The problem with the uh, Soul Shine is it doesn't increase the damage of Burning Light. However, with um, War Maiden, it does increase the damage of uh, Burning Light. So you can look at this. There's a 25% chance when you do damage with jabs or skills like that, top lane charge or or beam. I think if not mistaken, you would you might be able to do like 4.3k magical damage every 0.5 seconds. So every one second, there's 50% chance if you're doing damage with the, uh, this skill line skills you might do 4.3 damage which is, which is quite decent I would say this is one of your methods to get bursty on a Magicka Templar that's why I like War Maiden because it increases the damage of this Magicka damage 4.3k it might get higher when you buffed up um, with a major and minor sorcery so yeah this is really important okay and um, yeah that is why I use a uh, War Maiden and the back bar you could use anything that has a uh, Magical recovery, two piece that magic have magical recovery. You can use transmutation, you can use leech, something like that. Um, even seducer, I think. Just make sure it's impenetrable or sturdy on the shield, really important. And I use max magical for bigger heals and defending 
for yeah for the back but defending if you want to go full a bit more healing you can go powered as well powered is really good next patch i might go powered next patch to be honest because i feel like defending next patch is gonna be as it's gonna be weaker it's still gonna be good but i'm still considering i'm not 100 percent sure yet. i might go powered next patch because powered got the buff as well um preferably you don't want to use hardening enchantment like i have here you want to use a uh, increase weapon damage and on the swords you want to use oblivion damage um yep that's how i how i do it oblivion damage i think is the best so far uh yeah this is the offensive build and basically yeah it's it's really straightforward um i'll just go through the skills because the skills are more or less the same so you, you we have beam we have gap close for your CC as well, puncturing sweeps. I know this skill is really, really not reliable if people are moving around too much. This skill might not land, which is really terrible. Zos, please fix this. Fix this skill. Toppling charge. It's not good at all. It's one of the worst gap closers, to be honest. And yes, if you're wondering, it does sometimes make you into loading screen as well with toppling charge. No joke. <laughs> okay, Vampire's Bane, uh, your dot. I prefer when Vampire's Bane because the duration is longer. So your you get this a major prophecy which is your increased crit for eleven point seven seconds which is better. But another morph is decent as well. You could definitely use a reflective light really up to you. But I prefer vampire spin, and degeneration uh, is just yeah just for your um, major sorcery. I for this patch I slightly prefer uh, dawnbreaker. Slightly just slightly uh, compared to s skills like. Um, Empowering sweeps or skills like so assault. So assault is still good. Don't, don't get me wrong. So assault is still awesomely good. Where is so assault? I think so assault is in so magic. Exactly. So the damage is crazy. Without buff, it's five point seven k. Without buff, for three point five seconds. Without buff, if I buff up, it'll be sixty k easily. That is extremely strong. However, the thing is, when you are playing defensive, you couldn't go offensive. Because you need to channel this skill, that's the problem. You don't have shields to back you up. Like, for example, if I have Magical Slot or Warden, I have shields, I have Leeching Wines, I have Socks have two big shields, Warden have Leeching Wines, you got the, the Frost Armor, you got your basic shield. So you, you can tank up while you use OS Sock. That's why it's so powerful on those classes. But for Templar, if you are, I'm strictly talking about um, solo. And I'm not talking about in a big group or in a small scale group where there are friends to protect you. I'm talking about solo situation. Dawnbreaker is better. In a group, so as up. No problem. Meteor, no problem. Up to you. It's really flexible in a group. You could, hell, you could even use um, Nova if you want because no, Nova is really good uh, for those uh, major miam. In a tight area where people are pounding on you guys in a group, you just drop it down. You you'll never die in a nova. It's so hard to kill you in a nova. All right, so Dawnbreaker is my preferred skill for this patch at least. Uh, under in a solo environment, on a back bar, basically the same skill. Uh, your your extended ritual, dot heal and uh, your cleanse, your channel focus. This gives you major resolve, major what gives you good magical recovery. Breath of Light, your heal, Purifying Light, your big burst damage, and that does give you a small heal as well when it, when the duration ends. Elusive Mist, just for you to get away from Zerg's kite around rocks and areas like that. And um, Spell Wall, it's really up to you. There are two skills I'll, I'll switch around a lot. Either Spell Wall. Spell Wall is good when there are a lot of uh, projectiles coming to you, or if you want to go a bit more, even more offensive. Like, you wanna go full offensive, you just use uh, bats, the o ring swarm. Pop this, get close, start jabbing people, kill people. This is your your ulti that turns defense into offense. That's why it's really it's really up to you. Both skills are extremely good. Some people uh, tell me that why not you use a uh, Daedric Spear skill line to get this uh, passive that gives you to be able to block 10% more damage. <laughs> The problem with if you put one of these skills here, there's nothing that is suitable for back back bar. Okay, you can use javelin, you can CC people away. Yes, that's fine, but it costs so much, three point five k, and the damage dealt is so low. It's just not worth it to put any jabs. You will front bar it, toppling charge. You will front bar it. Um, blazing spear might be a good option, but then you are staff on skills because you need your vampire's bane. You definitely need your degeneration. And you need your peering fine like these three skills are a must have you can't change them around that's why 
the reason why I don't put any of these skills on the back bar for my offensive build is because I think purifying vampires being and uh, degeneration is just too important these three skills you could use it you could take away degeneration you use a, a potion that gives you something like this that gives you a major sorcery and then you you slot maybe something like a blazing spear back bar so you can block more damage that is possible but then you'll be a bit staff on the stamina department that's all okay so the skills are done um yeah I, i'll just go through another two more setups the the first setup was um was the full offensive setup i'll repeat it again scoria or bone pirate shackle breaker five pieces uh war maiden front bar three rings uh, three jewelries and two swords and then the back bar is just any one piece magical recovery set transportation leech seducer something like that Okay, so the second setup is uh, I don't I don't want to make this video too long, so the second setup will be um, either Scoria or um, Bone Pirate uh, Pirate Skeleton, sorry, which is a fix basically, or you could use uh, even you could use what is that, um, mm, Bloodspawn, sorry I almost forgot Bloodspawn is extremely good as well, so you can spam more ultimates really up to you, Shackle Breaker like usual. Oh, I forgot I forgot to mention the food we'll be using is uh, Witch Mother Potem Brew as well for area of this build and we'll be using Thief Thunderstone for bigger crit heals and crit damage that's why our crit without buff is really high and um <coughs> pardon me and the back bar because this is a sustained build so the back bar will be using leech sorry <coughs> and you want um it's up to you how you put it i use magical recovery spell damage and magical cost if you want to go more defensive put two reduced cost put one recovery if you want to go more offensive put two spell damage really up to you but i i just feel like i want the balance for this build this build is like a you can do damage and you can assist your friend because you have good recovery from leech on the back bar sword and sword and, uh, sword and board bar on my leech i got the powered axe you could use defending if you have it sword axe um dagger anything doesn't matter you need to farm it it's so good leech on templar just farm it trust me it's extremely good and the front bar will be using will pa willpower two pieces. Um, I should put oblivion damage on these swords, but I didn't bother to change them because yeah, it's it's decent. I can you can you can use this uh this enchantment as well that do that do this damage to undead and daedra and uh, weapon damage as well. It's really up to you. You can even use poison if you want. Okay, so this is the sustain build. The skills is oh, everything is the same, like the usual. You can change it around. Like you could use something more defensive, uh, like you could use bats on the front bar and back bar shield ultimate, it's really up to you. But even barrier, something like that, it's really up to you. But the skills are more or less the same for this uh, for this setup. Okay, this is the the Shackle Breaker, Leech and Scoria setup. This is the mid tier, which is good in defense, good in sustain, and pretty good in offense as well. Okay, but offensively, if you want to go full damage, War Maiden is definitely better. Okay, and then I'll go through the tank, tank plus build, which is the so-called cancer templar build. So what we'll be using is pretty simple. We'll be using resto stuff. Okay, we'll be using a uh, hundred percent pirate skeleton or blood spawn. Up to you. I want every, everything impenetrable. You'll be using shackle breaker on the body pieces, and you'll be using back bar wizards wizard repose. So on wizard repose bar, you just you'll be using sword and board. Okay, so you want the uh, defending and impenetrable you could use powered like usual as well and you want two cost reduction and one magical recovery so you can heal a lot heal 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 non-stop because this is a supporting build and front bar you'll be using restoration stuff of maelstrom why i'm using maelstrom restoration stuff instead of something like a wizard repose restoration stuff because of this passive it gives you 400 about 480 magical every four seconds which is about 220 magical recovery into this and you get spell crit as well that is super awesome in my opinion so do not use a poison on front bar on this resto stuff so you can proc this uh regeneration enchantment Re extremely important okay um so the skills if you watch this video if you watch this build video already you can just skip this part but um i'll just go through the skills super quickly so beam this is your execute when enemy is low use it use mutagen to proc the enchantment from your maelstrom stuff purifying light just your burst 
burst damage while your friend are hitting people you just use this on them you can use it on multiple targets as well it's really good the generation major sorcery your dot vampires bay like champions your healing ultimate and the back bar plans um channel focus breath of light blazing spear here or you could use something like uh javelin to cc people you want to use any one of these skills, uh, Daedric Spear skills, so you can block more damage because this is a cancer build, you want to block a lot, you want to tank a lot, you want to be super tanky, that's why you have to use one of these Daedric Spear skill on the back bar, and Elus miss, Elusive Miss, obviously, and you could use Spell Wall, you could use Barrier, you could use anything you like on the back bar, um, something like um, Nova, you could use something like Bat Swarm, it's really up to you. Okay, so, um... What else do I missed out? I think I cleared all the three builds already. The skills are done already. I still need to go through the CP. I will go through um, the stat sheet for the first build, the, the main build you are here for, the damage build, which is War Maiden and um, Shackle Breaker with Scoria. So the stats will look like that. Something like Unbuff, it will look like that. No, this is Sword and Bot. Okay, for Duyu Bar, it will look like that, Unbuff. So let's say I buffed it up. Do I have a crit potion? Because if I use that skill, I will get crit. Unfortunately, I don't have a crit potion, but I'll just use uh, the n normal damage potion. It's. L let me just find an opponent because I really need to apply my crit and uh, my minor. minor prophecy for the extra damage. So it, d it doesn't showcase the, the full damage of this build. Okay, so I finally found an opponent here, an enemy. So I'll just use um, our buff up. I'll do this. And then... Okay, now... Of course, I'm wearing heavy armor, so my damage will go up a lot more. But basically, I'll just use my minor and major prophecy. So, uh, major and major sorcery. So I'll just show you my weapon damage. So basically, this is my, my buff up stats. You can see it's really high, like about... Ah uh, man, they all died so fast. Basically, I have 46k crit because I'll, I'll get the ma major prophecy for the crit. And spell damage could go up to 2.4k. Magical recovery buffed up 1.9. And yeah, basically the stats are really solid. The stats. And bear in mind, there's extra 400 spell damage you will receive from uh, War Maiden. Which is not included in, the sp in this uh, stat sheet. So you have to bear in mind of that. Um, yeah, basically the resistance are really good on this build as well, so that's why I really like this build. And I will go through the the CP now really quickly, because this build video is getting really really long now. Okay, so uh, 11 Siphoner, because we don't use a lot of heavy and light attacks, so it's not really important. Warlock, 48. 79 for Akenis, 7 Tenacity. Uh, Shadow Ward, 56. 13 Tumbling. 15 blast, 51 elf one because we're having 46% crit so elf one is really important for heals and damage remember that you get heal increase heal and, and increase damage for your critical strikes ability remember that elf one really important for high crit uh, templar build uh, spell erosion just 10 37 element expert 40 master at arm uh, 13 shattering blows against a uh, shield targets especially magical sorcerer 44 Thermal Church and 61 Iron Cat, really important. Minimum 61 points in your Iron Clad. 23 Resistance, you want less in your Tick Skin because you can clear all the dots. So I just put 13 points in your Tick Skin. 49 Hardy, 43 Elemental Defender, 6 Expert Defender to reduce damage from Light and Heavy Attacks, and 15 Quick Recovery. Okay, so that is for the build. Um, I hope you enjoy. Of course, uh, I'm if I'm not mistaken, I'm, in, um, I'm a Vampire. 4 stage. Thief Mutherstone, uh, I think I mentioned this already but I'm using Witch Mother of Brew. I got uh, Emperor Ship bonus which gives me more health, keep bonus doesn't really matter. So I get slightly more health now but usually I'll have minimum of 26k plus so which is a lot as well so 27k, 26k is more than enough to be honest. Okay so this is uh, for the Templar build, hope you like it and of course, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'll come up with a lot more videos, mostly PvP videos, 
uh, PvP ESO video so make sure you subscribe for that and uh, throw the video a like if you want to that would be really really appreciated and I guess I'll see you guys in Serial Deal. Okay bye bye.